Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So in this one, what we are going to carry on, I've got some uh, blueprints and plans already in place, but I uh, really want to continue developing our, well, not so much the mining area. This is more like the fixing, uh, where we fix some things up, but it's the lake district that I do want to change up. So let's talk through a few few ideas that I do have already. I've measured out where the sort of the main main road and networks will be. So this will be one of the main roads. Uh, obviously through the this great pyramid has to be another one. So that's where the other one goes. And we've got one also running up towards the well track and skip or kind of like the, the tree cutting area that we have there. Unfortunately we do, it, it's not lining up perfectly. So what we have planned right now is we've uh, given them a task to empty these uh, log piles. Unfortunately, again, these are all full and we have no more storage left. But what we can do is, as a temporary sort of measure, we could and we shall create some more log piles I think we'll do maybe about this many yeah okay so that hopefully sorts this out right let's take a look at the uh, next thing so that was the roads uh, we're sorting out the logs so we can have a nice straight road over there um, with these ruins over here I'd like to keep them and I'd like to also decorate them with one of the new type of uh, crops that we have we're not gonna harvest them well, unless it's accidental, of course. Uh, so we do want to put lots of sunflowers down and make this area look very yellow. I haven't planted any of them, so I'm assuming they've got the right colors. And um, what we have here, well, it's all paused right now. And uh, we're going to have a whole lot of fences around. Don't worry about these little sections that are sticking out. These were just to measure out. So it's all uh, nice and nice and even. And they are going to have four points of access. They will not be connected to each other. But essentially I want to create like little gardens where the beavers can come and uh, sit down. And uh, I guess it's more of, more of like a, another monument right next to one of the, well, this big pyramid that we have here. Right, so we have this massive plaza for the, for the beavers. Now, where shall we go next? I, I do want to keep this the higher level with the buildings as it is because it's quite a nice little village in here only thing i'll probably improve is maybe have some more trees around this place and i'm not really sure what to put here but we'll figure something out uh moving on right there's another little platform that i'm not entirely sure yet so we're just gonna leave it and now it's a temporary storage for our log piles let's just maybe give this a slightly higher priority as well then down here, this is most likely going to be where, I don't know exactly where, I kind of wanted to put the, the district center right in front of it, but then checking the distances, I'm a bit afraid that hmm, it, it might not give us all the reach to, to this area, but I guess we'll find out when the time is right. Then... Um, Right, so the district center, hopefully somewhere here. And around this is going to be a whole lot of farms for potatoes, I'm thinking. Now, for the wheat, I'd like to use this lower area that gets flooded pretty often, especially when it's rainy, uh, rainy season. And I guess in some ways, it gives us a bit of realism as well. Because some, during certain seasons, depending where you are in the world, of course, uh, certain areas can flood a little, a little bit or quite a bit. Right, so this is where the wheat goes. And the reason why I'm placing wheat here is because if uh, that has not changed, one of the uh, wheat plants, uh, it gives us three, but that uh, each of those will be turned into into five bread. So we don't really need a huge area for that. Uh, so yeah, this will be mixed use for, I'm, I'm guessing, carrots and potatoes then. Okay, now this will be, this little peninsula will be most likely, the lower le levels will be uh, entertainment, I'm thinking. And uh, right behind here, I would actually like to place uh, the big storages. So the underground warehouses, that will be the, 
the end destination for all our produce. Now, what I have to start doing to prepare this land is maybe or perhaps mark this for, um, you know, don't don't plant any more uh, crops in this area, please. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan. Now, please tell me I didn't put any beavers here. Okay, we did not. Uh, so that's that. Let's speed up the time because it is night and very dark. Now, the problems we are going to face is um, we're not going to have reach for all those logs. And that is okay with me. Same with the temple, which is a bit sad, but I'm sure we'll find a better location for the temple. Then uh, all this distribution, all the drop-off points and a few houses as well. Well, houses is not a huge problem because we just uh, identified a new location for the houses. But the drop-off point, that definitely has to change. And this warehouse, well, you're not holding anything, so that's fine. Okay, so the drop-off point and distribution, he's going to move into this location instead. You guys are already building this, yes. Okay, so someone just has to come and construct it. Right, so that's going to come here. And where is the distribution? Wait, labor, drop-off point. And I guess we can... Yeah, we can um, put a couple in here for starters. Let's get rid of this tree. Maybe a slightly higher priority. Yep, let's um, delete this straight away. Because we have three in there. So we are bringing in some dynamites. Potatoes we are not going to need. Yeah, we can get rid of the potatoes. Let's do that. Water, we are also doing on our own water. So we just need gears. And then bread, blanks and metal. Okay, so that all makes sense. I think dynamites and gears we can put together. So let's do that real quick as well. Uh, that was dynamites and what was the other one again? And gears. Okay, dynamites and gears. There's the explosives and one more thing will be gears. Okay, we are sorted. Well, there's four. Let's uh, just have two of you here for now. Okay, so they're going to get to work. That means in this section here, we can already take out the gears and the dynamites. Perfect. So you're done. There's nothing in here. Let's uh, delete you. So I'm going to prepare and set up uh, these two distribution posts as well and the routes and then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we do have them nicely set up now. Uh, what I'd also like to do is maybe we'll increase the staffing just to just to four for now. Uh, I know there's only two here, but yeah, just for the transition time let's have it that way and maybe one less staff can uh, work over there okay so what do we have a lot water gears maybe we should stop bringing those in all together and you know what let's pause you okay so you're removed fantastic all we gotta do is wait for them to empty these drop of points as well and then we can get rid of them and uh right okay so these are all the plans a bit of preparation we'll come back to this district any second uh oh, it's almost evening again right too late to send uh, beavers Ooh, wow now that is a lot of dynamites that is wonderful okay the range wise okay we've got a really good range now i have done a little bit of preparation and and to be honest, I don't think we have to go or get any further than this. Yeah, I mean, I might change my mind in the future, but for the time being, I think we're pretty happy with how things are. Now, with the dynamites, we've been waiting for this section forever. So let's focus on that, please. It would also be nice if you can get this one prioritized next. So maybe that's what we do. Let's have you over there. And then everything that's here like so all right fantastic i've tidied up this area a little bit as well and i think they've built the last beehive yes they have so i uh, yeah i think we can connect those links up now oh that's too far well that's gonna be a little bit annoying but do you know what so be it we'll just leave you as it is right now this seems to be a very suitable spot for the district center and I've put in a few commands or tasks for the beavers to put the ladders down as well, all the stairs. So we can move over, put a few dams in place and try and keep this area 
green for um just for a little bit longer and who knows i think we might have range till here as well so we could uh, stop the water for escaping you know everything off the map but we'll see 13.4 days we'll speed up the time just a little bit you guys are already bringing dynamite so that's fantastic and let's just go back over to the other side i guess it's time to look at the pyramid progress as well all right so that is good i think it's time for another set of stairs here and wait let me just double check i'm pretty sure i did not send anyone over but knowing me okay there we go it's it's all good let's schedule in a couple more uh wait a second uh do you think they might get stuck hmm probably knowing our beavers there's a high chance that they will be will be stuck okay let's leave the pyramids because they still have a few out of range tasks over here they're just uh, too far maybe this becomes a priority let's get it all done and there's nothing underneath yep okay so that's good you actually don't have any more logs in here so that's wonderful we can remove this toggle the faction let's go back to the folk tales give it three times the speed as well and just three more to empty okay okay slowly starting to come together now since we do have a few let's see unemployed beavers right how about we migrate 14 i was gonna type 15 but 14 is fine as well i don't think we need that many and we just need these last things to be constructed do you have everything you need it's quite a few oh okay well there we go we can uh, connect you up as well couple more beavers working there are you full no you can still empty this one right yeah that's all good i think we do have one unemployed okay so i guess we'll send you back to lake district new dynamite's already in place and uh, i believe we should have this comp never mind i take it back this section is pretty much done here so I guess we can do this. Alright, there we go. Bit of extra space for the water. We'll let it fill up very nicely. Oh, there's a bit of a lip in here. Okay, we'll get rid of you as well. And once you have dynamites, then uh, you, know, you can finish that section as well. And I think we're in for a treat. No. Just one more left, but it seems like this beaver is going over. Let us start prioritizing. Yeah, there's no dynamites left, so... Actually, let's give you the highest priority. And then these dams can be second. Right, still half a day left. How many logs? None. Okay, perfect. You can go back to the lake as well. And let's see, what can we do now? You're empty. Perfect. They are pretty busy around this area right now. Just a couple more and then it's all connected up. Okay, now, how are we going to do this? Not entirely sure. Unfortunately, we still have quite a few plants in the way. Uh, but food-wise, I don't think we're going to struggle because we are bringing in bread. Uh, what we could do is let's see carrots i still don't know how do we want to put this district center and if i move it now they're just gonna go all over the place unless we are smart about it how about we cut the connection yep so it's not gonna be connected and maybe we could do the same i don't know somewhere there and one more about here okay so there's still this section left but i think they'll be fine even if it's not connected all right let's give it a quick try i think they will stay as folk mm. okay seems like where nothing connecting up you're got out as well okay Oh dear. I'm sure all of you have already spotted where we have messed up, but 
I just really don't see it. I mean, this set of stairs is not built yet. What's the... Let's try again. Must be separated by gates. But you're not connected. Do you have it connected some other way? No. There's literally no roads. Okay. I'm gonna have to take a second to try and figure out what is going on. Alright, I think I figured it out for uh, some reason with the update. Maybe it was like this before already. But even if those stairs are not built, it still counts as one uh, walkway, it seems. Because uh, now we can build here. But if you go about here, yep, we can no longer build this. Right, anyways, let's take a quick look. Can we connect you up? Yes, we can. How far can you go? Ooh, okay. So you sort of have the range to pretty much everything here. Although once they start going up vertically... Yeah, hmm. Well, that's not very good. Well, how about we change this up so we could put the district center somewhere about here instead where where we have this hauling post right now so if we measure it out and draw a line okay right about there so that's the middle middle section can we relocate you guys i believe we can we just have to build another hauling post somewhere else and that seems to be a pretty good location for the time being just uh, get this done everyone and the priorities, let's set them the same as well. Seems like it's evening. Have we moved the beavers? No, we have not. All of you, back to the lake. And off you go. If the district center is here, we should hopefully... Ooh. That's a good point. We might not have the reach for those drop-off points. How about... Let's see, from you... No, they still have... Yeah, it goes pretty far. Okay, I guess we'll find out. We'll have another road that goes through here anyway. So as soon as it get, gets light, we've got these guys in there. What we can already start doing is, let's see, potatoes need to be processed. And if this is a processing area, we would like to have potatoes. Oh, let's uh, slow it down just a little bit. Potatoes growing right about here here and carrot can be on on this side instead now how far are we with the construction not too far do we still need uh yes we do just one more well once we move the district center i think we should be able to uh, finish constructing that from the bottom as well uh yeah okay now let's go and see our monastery area as well oh one thing i just realized I forgot to mention at the start is that I have not seen your comments yet because this is the third episode I'm recording in the same day now that I finally have a bit of extra time. So yeah, all of those are being prepared on the same day and I think I'm most likely going to record one more after this. Anyways, let's uh, get rid of this section here as well. And beautiful. Oh, wait a second. You're still pretty full over there. Oh, yeah. The drought was only 18 days, actually. So nothing's really dried up just yet. Uh, wait a second. Nope. That's fine as well. Okay. I am getting a little distracted. But I think I've just noticed that all these water tanks are now empty. I would also like to take you and place you i think for the time being yeah let's uh let's do this quick little little trick can we do one more no we cannot wait a second something's not right yep no 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 it's the red button that we have to click beautiful and i totally forgot in the previous episodes that we uh still had a couple of dynamites here i know about these ones as well i don't really know why i put them down in the first place but uh I've just kind of left them because they're not as important. Okay, so you can go. We still need a dynamite here. That is the last one, right? Okay, so this means you can go, you can go. Do you have to go? Oh yeah, we do want to create as much as 
space as we can. And then uh, we'll move all these bumps over by one. Right. Well, in anyways, you... You know what? Both of you get out of here. Go into something else. And because that's going to be here, over by one. Last one's going to be here. And we can... Oh, is it there? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Connect you up like so as well. And actually in preparation... Oh. Well, this actually might change a lot once we have these walls down. So let's not build too many things in here. They might not be a permanent. But let's get rid of those roads. There we go. Now, how far do you run? You run right about here. Okay. So somewhere here is when we are going to finish this fortress tower. Uh, <laughs> how long do we want it to be? There's a two white cap. Okay. So we can sort of measure, measure you out by swapping over. So we've got the iron teeth. Oh, it is the evening. Oh dear. Our beavers. Uh, never mind. False alert. There was no one there. Okay, perfect. Uh, since we don't have to really move anyone, we can carry on demolishing and building stuff in here. So we got the roads in place. That is looking nice and straight now. The polling post is in place as well, so you can go. And what we'll do now is take this one out. Okay. No more roads. Distribution center, or the location for it, is finally cleared up. And which one do we want to do? I think everything's pretty much folk tales in here, isn't it? Yeah, so if we put you down here... Let's see if... Um, so you're still going around, but you have access from here. If we take this road out, and maybe this one for the time being. Now, access-wise. Alright, let's take a look. Bit of red. But it should be a little bit, well, quite a bit shorter. That's the extra length we are getting. And that, I believe, should allow us to construct a few things in here. Yep. If it's really bad, we can always in the future move this district center towards, towards this side instead. But I think for the time being, that's pretty good for our purpose. And I'm not gonna connect it up just yet. Because I do want to check. Uh, we still have resources in here. Right, so maybe we don't have storage for those materials, but that's okay. I'm just waiting for these potatoes and carrots to be removed. Once it's done, we can... Do you know what? It's just carrots. Not sure if we have the range quite yet, but all of you can go if the builders have nothing to do. Okay. Right. Let's check on the pyramid progress real quick as well. Seems we've got the staircases in place. Okay, good. And let's try and fill those gaps as well. Well, that's... Uh, I'd say... Well, not half. I really want to say half. But it's not half. Is it? No. And you can't actually reach all the way there. Oh, yeah. Is this going to help us? No, it is not. Well, that's fine. We're going to have another district center somewhere there anyways. Maybe a temporary one to help us construct everything on that side. Right. Uh, this is probably the only corner we can finish, I think. Not this one. Yeah, it's already out of range, isn't it? Unless, uh, let's try something else. Maybe it's a... Uh, Maybe we can give them a bit of a shortcut. You're going from there. Let's create a couple more roads. Will this do anything? No. Or maybe. Oh, it does. Okay. Yes. So that's good. Do another two, uh, two layers and levels. 
Okay, let's leave the pyramid. Dynamite. Okay, another one done. How many sets of stairs do we already have? Okay, not too bad. Just three left. And they can... Oh, they cannot build them from the bottom. So that's a very big... Oh yeah, of course it is. But that's, uh, that's fine. There's only three left. Beavers are busy constructing them and seems they've done at least a quarter of this section here as well. Okay, yeah, I think overall things are going pretty uh, pretty nicely. Uh, big plans for our lake district and I think it's slowly uh, starting to come together as well. So what we'll do in the next episode, we'll start putting down some warehouses. Perhaps uh, would be smart to uh, plop down a few farms right around here as well and uh, setting up our first sort of production uh, zone for more advanced recipes anyways it's been fun playing hope you feel the same and i look forward to seeing you in the next episode